Oh, I don't think it adds pressure. I think, um, you know, we're a very, very young team um, who suffered, uh, you know, two season ending injuries to some really important players uh, in mid October. Um, so I give our players a lot of credit um, for regrouping, recalibrating, um, and just continuing to forge ahead and, and try to, um, you know, do the best they can to build an identity as, the, as to uh, what ty type of team they want to be this year. So we have six players averaging double figures. <clears throat> How does that benefit what you're trying to accomplish? Um, I think, um, you know, we, we don't have a star. So it, it's not a situation where we're trying to run off offense through, um, you know, one or two players. I think that um, what we've tried to do is just play the right way and share the ball and get each player to understand what their plays are, you know. Um, and I think I think uh, for our freshmen and sophomores to be able to do that this early in their career is just a, a testament to to their character and the and the type of teammates that they are. But you know, sometimes it's hard to understand that my plays are different than your plays, and. Um, you know, my, my strengths and weaknesses are different than your strengths and weaknesses. And uh, this group is um, surprisingly, you know, as young as we are, done a pretty good job of, of um, you know, understanding, um, you know, how to play that way. How does all that change now that you're going to the conference play? And, you know, the men talk about the pressure, just stepping out on the court. Well, um, you know, I, I think uh, f for us, it's a, it's a completely different situation. Um, you know, we're, we understand that the physicality, the length and the athleticism um, is going to change significantly, um, you know, for the next 18 games because nobody in our league has played, um, you know, the kind of teams that are getting ready to play, you know, night in and night out. So um, I'm hoping that um, I, I know that the first five, six minutes in Stillwater, there's going to be a little, you know, probably shock to just how physical and how long um, they are, but I'm, I'm hoping we can adjust and settle in, uh, you know, to that type of game as, as quickly as possible. What do you think's prepared your team the most for Big 12 play? I, I think we've been in some uh, some really tight games and um, some situations uh, where we had to make winning plays, and we've been fortunate that different individuals have, have stepped up and um, contributed at, at uh, various times. Well, um, you know, obviously, uh, <clears throat> Florida first, just being an SEC caliber team. But then, you know, St. Mary's was really good and hard to play against. Um, played five out, spread the floor. Um, and we were down five, I think, with 74 seconds to play and um, came back and won that game. And then I think on the road at St. Louis, uh, playing a really poor first half, um, but, but coming out and really you know, just being a completely different team. And um, again, had to make winning plays, um, you know, down the stretch. You had that no look pass go viral a little bit the other night. I mean, is that an indication, confidence wise, of, of where your team's at? I mean, they seem to obviously be feeling themselves, and, and, and how important is that? Um, well, I mean, I think, uh, you know, that type of publicity is good for our players. Um, you know, I, I, I think it's every young person's dream right now to, to make waves on social media. So I'm really glad we're doing it, you know, in, in that manner. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we talked about that play, but, but what we did is ran it back to when Mariani knew that Tina was running with her. That decision was made about 50 feet earlier and just having that awareness and that feel for the game. Um, and those are important plays in women's basketball, in my opinion. Just like taking a charge is a big deal in women's basketball because they're momentum-changing momentum plays. You know, we're not, you know, throwing lobs and, and playing over the top of people dunking, um, at least not in our program. Um, so those, you know, that was a, a big momentum play for us. <clears throat> Um, I, I think having the holiday clinic is an opportunity to just, you know, give back to the community and involve your players um, as, as being, uh, you know, outstanding role models to, 
you know, to young girls and, and, and young boys. Um, we had a lot of, lot of participants today, and, and our players always do a terrific job in that setting. Um, to be honest with you, I think we're so young that they're not even thinking about <laughs> Saturday at this point. I mean, I don't think they're feeling, um, you know, what, it, what is today, Thursday? Um, I think they'll start thinking about that Saturday morning. Uh, I, I just don't. They're, they're preparing, obviously. Um, but uh, I don't think that they're feeling, you know, the type of pressure maybe that, that we're talking about. <clears throat> your focus is on Oklahoma State. What Big 12 team has grabbed your attention in the non-conference? You know, um, Baylor's obviously the uh, prohibitive favorite, defending national champions. Um, West Virginia's really good. Um, I, I would say Texas, uh, who was preseason top 15, they stumbled and had a, had a bad stretch. But then they've done nothing but beat number one Stanford um, here just a, a, a few weeks ago. Um, as the, and I think they're probably right, you know, coming into conference play. So um, I think maybe some people were looking at them thinking, you know, hey, are they going to be in the mix? And I think they probably answered those questions here lately. Just the, the culture and chemistry of this group, um, you know, how, how they play, how they interact with each other um, on the court, off the court. Um, we're so much tougher, uh, even though we're really young, we're so much tougher uh, mentally and physically than, than m maybe what we have been here in the past. We have a lot of steps to take because we're nowhere near, you know, what what we need to be to to perform at the level that we want. Um, but I think we need that next level of uh, of competition, of physicality, of length and athleticism that we're going to play against, um, you know, to help us help us get there. I don't think there's any question. Just from a balance, you know, standpoint, um, you know, offensively, I, I just like, um, you know, how we're playing. I really like the fact that we have six players in double figures, and I like the fact that <clears throat> um, Holly Kerskeeter can go 0 for three, and Zakiya Franklin can get 19 in the second half at St. Louis, and then Zakiya Franklin can struggle the next game, and Holly Kerskeeter can get 21. Um, I just like the, that, um, you know, if, if a, one or two guys are having a bad night, we have several others that hopefully can step up and fill in and cover for them. Brandon, your sophomore guards, very athletic last year, but, you know, didn't seem to kind of work into your system where you wanted them to. And this year, that seems to have changed. Can you just talk about how a really stepped up? Well, I think they've really learned the importance um, of fundamentals and attention to detail. You know, sometimes young players, um, especially as elite athletically as they are, is you just rely on that, you know. Um, doesn't matter your technique. Doesn't matter if you reach with the wrong hand. Uh, but I think they've learned that, hey, if I will take my God-given abilities and the athleticism that I have and then play the right way uh, with a little bit more disciplined, um, I can impact the game uh, even in a greater way.